Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today we're going to make a book page pocket, some scrapbook ephemera, and some junk journal ephemera. But first, let's have our shout out to Carolyn, Candace, Nancy, Joan, Vic, Happy Curmudgeons, Kelly, Sahara, Leanne, Amu, and Dorothy. I appreciate each and every one of you. I have some book page here. So what I'd like to do is go ahead and use my watered down school glue and I'm just going to apply it directly on one of the papers and I'm just using my brush and I'm just brushing it on just to make it a little, mm, let's say a little more even, that's not right, but more even. <laughs> so there's not so many globs. And I'm just brushing it like this. There's a little extra on here. I'm just going to do this. Now, this is a trick that I saw Shabby Dabby Doodah do, and she said she learned it from someone else. So these pages are this way up. I'm going to take this one and turn it this way. So I'm applying it like this. So one page is straight. The words are up, and these, this side, I'm putting it the words this way. Now it's going to take a little bit to dry this. I'm just going to use my scrapey tool and see how much glue has come out even though I, I brushed it on fairly thin. I'm just using my scraper to just get the extra glue off. I'm going to turn this around it will just help it dry faster and it also will help it not be as lumpy. So I'm just scraping it off like that. I'm going to clean up and we'll continue. All right, so I have two of them that I have done and they are dried. I rounded the corners and I brought them in just a little bit so they'd fit into a journal a little easier. This is the writing that's face up. And when you turn this up, because we put this one face down, or upside down, all the words are the correct way now. So I'm just going to fold this. Now you can make these pockets as deep as you want. This is about two and a half inches right here. You can sew this or you can glue it. Now I am going to bring in some that I have already combined here together and I am going to just move that over the side. I have sewn around the edge and I have inked around the edge. Now see this one is small so you can make them absolutely any size that you want. So let's go ahead and let's get this one decorated quickly here. I have a label that I've made myself. This is a Shabby Dabby Doodah uh, printable and this is just a little bow. So let's get this going. All right, I have this little sticker book from the paper studio that I got half price the other day when I was out with my daughter. And I really thought that one of these would be beautiful on this uh, oval right here. Let's see if I can get this off. I thought they were clear. I'm pretty sure they are, but there we are. There we are. They are. They're clear. Look how sweet that is. Oh my. That's very sweet. Okay, so I'm going to place this down first. Just going to apply a little glue on here and just place it right here. I'm going to Put some glue on the oval and place it like that. And then I think I'm going to add the little bow right between the two. Maybe something like this. Oh, I think that's super cute. And then I have a few little labels that we can just stick right in here. I've already rounded the corners and I've added a little ink to them inked around the edges. How cute is that for a journal? 
I love it. Let's do another one. Maybe different, different flavor. So this is still a little bigger. We're going to graduate up. So once again, any size you want to make it, I'm going to go ahead and just apply some glue down here and lay this lace, this black lace, right on top. There we are. And then I'm going to, I think I'm going to have that stick over the side just a little bit. Let me see here. Oh yeah, I think that looks great. So I'm just going to add a little glue right here at the corner. I'm going to lay this piece of lace right here. So it's going to hang over the edge just a bit. And then I'm going to apply this label. So this is very simple. Easy, quick, simple, and truly adorable. These are chapter one pieces here that I've printed out and I think they just look beautiful together, don't they? So let's go and graduate up just a little bit more to right here. So we're this size, now this size, and this size. So now we're here. So I prepared the papers just the way that I did when I was showing you. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue up here and I'm going to add this piece of ephemera. I didn't add enough glue right on there. I'm going to just turn it over. I like to use my, my glass mat to help me make sure that the paper or the lace, especially the, the lace, gets stuck on there. I think this would be nice about, let's see here, about right here. So I'm just going to add some glue onto here. And once again, I'm just going to turn it over on my glass mat. And I've already inked up these and gotten them all prepared. I think I'm going to lay this label down next. This is a Tracy Fox label. So here we are right there. This happens to be a My Porch Prints. So I'm going to get this laid down next. Oh my goodness, it's coming together and I absolutely love it. And this is a shabby dabby doodah bow. So let's get this on. I think I want it to be just maybe at the corner like that. And I'd like to grab a little bit of a few little pearls. I think that would be super sweet if we place some pearls and maybe add one right in the middle of the bow. So my pen just helps me lift it off just like this. Oh my goodness, isn't that sweet? And then I have a few, I think I have something to stick in there, don't I? Well, I thought I had something to stick in there, but maybe I don't. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I thought I had something to stick in there. Okay, moving on. <laughs> moving on. Here we are. So, I thought we could do maybe one that's on the fall theme, since we've been doing that here lately. I'm going to add this little pleated piece of orange material right here. It's just a cotton that I pleated on the machine. And then I think I'd like to lay this one. This is not pleated, but has been frayed on the edges. I'm going to lay this down just right across here like this. And then I think I'm going to add maybe a little bit of black lace on here, on top. And I'm going to turn it over just so it, it gets stuck. And how about one of those beautiful labels? that we made together. Let's see, I think I want this to be stuck right up on top. I've got some extra string here hanging off and I think I'm just going to twirl it around and maybe stick it underneath like that. Just so I don't cut it off. I want to keep it, but I don't want it to be dangling around. So, oh, we want the word two right way up. Maybe something like this. 
All right, and there's glue on here, so it grab that piece of lace, turn it over. There we are. I made this little tag very quickly with a piece of material on some coffee dyed paper. And I have a little printable here and beautiful roses. And this is a little bigger than this. And then this is the next size. And then this is the next size. Oh, you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.